Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I'm going to explain about isolation, purification of protoplast and its fusion. Protoplast have their cell wall entirely removed. Whereas in case of spiroplast, have their cell wall only partially removed. They composed of, I mean the protoplast composed of cells, nucleus and the surrounding protoplasmic material. Protoplast can be cultivated in liquid as well as solid material. Protoplast can be isolated from almost all plant part that is root, leaves, fruits, tubers, roots, nodules, endosperm, pollen, mother cell, etc. Protoplasts are isolated from cells by two method, mechanical method and enzymatic method. Enzymatic method in plant cell wall is the plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, which are respectively degraded by enzyme, cellulase, hemicellulase and pectinase. In plant cell, we mainly use these um, enzymes at pH 4.5 to 6 and uh, temperature 25 to around uh, 30 degree centigrade with incubation period of half an hour to 20 hours. Mechanical method small piece of epidermis from the from a plant is selected the cells are subjected to plasmolysis this result in shrinkage of um, protoplast away from cell wall the tissue is dissected to release protoplast disadvantage it yield a very small number of protoplast it is not suitable for isolating protoplast from metastomatic and less vacuolated cell this method is laborious and tedious method of isolation of protoplast here the young leaf of healthy plant is taken sterilized with sodium hypochlorite rinse leaf for six minutes with sterile water sterilized leaves are taken remove lower epidermis with forcep place stripped surface of leaf in contact with the 13 percent mannitol for three hour turgid leaf are plasmolyzed and protoplast free from the cell wall now these leaves having plasmolyzed cells are mixed with enzyme preparation now this enzyme pre preparation is a mixture of enzyme containing cellulose cellulase pectinase protease and lipase etc sterilized by a filter later one uh, peel of one gram leaf mixed with enzyme preparation now uh, this peeled leaf with enzyme preparation after incubation for a few hours removes leaf fragment to release the protoplast suspension purification of protoplast two commonly used methods are uh, sedimentation and washing and floating sedimentation in, in case of sedimentation and washing in this method the group protoplast suspension is centrifuged at um, <coughs> low speed at 50 to 100 g for 5 minutes intact protoplast form a pellet and uh, supernatant contain uh, cell debris can be pipette off the pellet is gently resuspended in fresh culture medium plus mannitol and rewashed this process is repeated for two to three times to get relatively clean protoplast preparation floating flotation here a concentrated solution of um, mannitol, sorbitol and sucrose with a molar concentration of 0.3 to 0.6 molar can be used as gradient and crude protoplast suspension may be centrifuged in this gradient at an appropriate speed protoplast being lighter than other cell debris allow the protoplast to float and the cell debris to sediment protoplast can be pipetted out from the top of the tube after centrifugation purification and culture of uh, re culture and regeneration of protoplast first the protoplast suspension is taken 
it is filtered through nylon mesh with a 45 micron and then centrifuged at 700 rpm for 5 minutes repeat it for 3 times and descend later the protoplast is cultured on a medium protoplast regeneration takes place embryogenesis takes place and plantlet will be formed methods of protoplast fusion protoplast fusion can be broadly classified into two categories spontaneous fusion where the fusion through their plasmodesma plasmodesmata takes place next is induced fusion need a fusion inducing chemical it is further this induced fusion is further uh, divided into three types mechanical fusion chemo fusion and uh, uh, electro fusion first we will uh, learn about spontaneous fusion during enzymatic degradation degradation of cell wall some of the adjacent protoplast may fuse to form heterokaryocytes which is also called as heterokaryons these fused cells sometimes contain high number of nuclei because of expansion and subsequent coalition of the plasmodermal connection between the cells under induced fusion first we will learn about mechanical fusion in this the isolated protoplast are brought into intimate physical contact mechanically under microscope with the help of micro manipulator and profuse profusion uh, or profusion micro pipettes next is chemo fusion several chemicals have been used to induce protoplast fusion uh, such as sodium nitrate polyethylene glycol calcium ion sodium nitrate treatment isolated protoplast exposed to mixture of uh, 5.5% sodium nitrate in 10% sucrose solution incubated incubation carried out for 5 minute at 35 degree centigrade followed by centrifugation protoplast pellet kept in water bath at 30 degree centigrade for 30 minutes during which fusion occur next is the treatment with calcium ion at high ph this method consists of incubation of protoplast in a solution of 0.4 molar mannitol containing 0.05 molar calcium chloride at ph of 10.5 at a at 37 degree centigrade for 30 minutes fusion occur within 10 minutes polyethylene glycol treatment isolated protoplast in the culture medium um, of uh, like around 10 ml are mixed with equal volume that is 1 ml of 28 to 56% polyethylene glycol with a molecular weight of uh, 1500 to 600 Dalton in a test tube. Now the tube is shaken and then allowed to settle. The settled protoplast was washed several times with cultured medium during which fusion occur. Next method is electrofusion. In this method, an electric field of low strength that is 10 kilovolt per minute was given this give rise to dielectrophoretic dipole generation within the protoplast suspension or a high strength of electric field of 100 kilovolt per minute for more microsecond are applied this lead to fusion fusion products fusion of cytoplasm of two protoplasts result in collisions of cytoplasm coalescence of the cytoplasm the nuclei of two protoplast may or may not fuse together even after fusion of cytoplasm the binucleated cells are known as heterokaryon or heterocyst when nuclei are fused the cells are known as hybrid or cytokaryon syncaryocytes only cytoplasm fuse and genetic information from one of the two nuclei is lost then it is known as cybrid or cytoplasmic hybrid or heteroplast thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon 
do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you